and welcome to TMDs. Sorry if we have some noise in the background. It's a belt from next door and we've got some construction going on as well behind us. But what we're going to do here today is we're going to statically time a 2005 Mercury two-stroke engine. The first thing we have to do is disconnect the throttle cable which runs to the throttle arm. Here's a picture of the throttle cable. We'll disconnect at this 10 millimeter nut again to release this throttle arm and give us control over maximum throttle doing it manually. Now with the cable disconnected we have full range of motion to allow us to go to full throttle. Looks like I need to backtrack a bit here. You need a spark tester or a way of grounding the spark plug leads to start with because we don't want to burn out the ignition system. So you can take a spark plug and if you've got lugs or, or what have you on, on the power head, just take and push them on like that. That will allow the spark to go from here across into here and ground and won't damage the ignition system. You're also going to need a timing light. And what the timing light is designed to do is hook up the number one cylinder. And then we point it at this window here. And this window will have some numbers on it when the flywheel is turning. And as the timing light flashes, it picks up that number for us or enables us to see those numbers and let us know what we're timing or the, the digits that we're timing at. So I've gone ahead and hooked up our timing light. I'm using the solenoid with the positive lead from the battery. I ground on the starter. And over here is where I have the lead hooked up to pick up the signal from the number one cylinder. Keep in mind it is directional. It can only go one way. We also want to try and isolate it from the other spark plug leads so that we don't get any kind of interference or double flashing or, or whatnot when we're trying to get our reading. Okay. Yep. okay, so what we saw there was the base timing and then I would move the throttle arm ahead and we would see the max timing. Okay, so what we saw there was base timing and then maximum RPM timing. When you set the maximum RPM timing statically, you set it two degrees less than what it is supposed to be at full throttle when the engine is running. Now if this engine was out of time, the adjustment would be here. That's uh, statically timing the engine. It's pretty simple. It's similar, note I'm saying similar, on most brands of engines. 